Everyone cleanly through this time and by lap two Marino had moved up to second, displaying his talent for road circuits and he was ahead of Martini. They both still trailed Raphael who was leading the way. But that ominous black flag was out again. This time David Hunt had heavily crashed at Loctite Corner, avoiding some spinning cars. He was able to climb out of the wreck and travel to hospital for observation. Start number two and Martini again led the field. Marino in second for Apicella, Alessi and Donnelly. Jean-Denis Delatraz took evasive action rather than involve himself in a clash and he was slowly away. However, he was able to get racing again. At the front of the field, Martini was under pressure from Marino. The bumpy track suiting Blundell, who was having a stirring drive and in third place. Behind him, Apicella, Donnelly and Jean Alesi. The final chapter of the Formula 3000 fast was reached at Zenith Corner when competitive spirit reached its nadir. Cars blocked the track and the drivers were unable to find a way through. For the third start, Marino was into the lead, followed by Donnelly. Delatraz involved in another spot of heavy braking. The field was evenly spaced at the front, Roberto Marino in a comfortable lead. Martin Donnelly holding second place, it had Martini, Apicella and Jean Alesi. Mark Blundell the next through, followed by Volker Weidler.